Hey guys and gals, Von Baden here. Um, we're in the starting phases of this build and I've been meaning to get the video made and have not been able to get it made because always something going on. So, real quick, what we're making is another YouTuber put this out and he did like a Spider-Man Um, anyways, it's Spider-Man, it's kind of decorated with jewels and whatnot, but it's a skull helmet. I'm going to actually make the skull, but do it more for the Bone Daddy character. I will leave a link to his tutorial on, he, now, ugh, on how he did it. There we go, can't talk today. He also gives a free template. We just bought all of his builds, so I would strongly suggest if you're enjoying this, go over there and subscribe to him as well. Um, but just for uh, FYI, he gives you the template, and when I was working this out, I did not realize that these two pieces go together and they're not technically supposed to be part and he tells you to take them together and whatnot. Well my EVA foam which is six millimeter EVA foam I could not take those together and get it all in one sheet so I actually did it the way it is on there and cut it in two separate pieces and I'll have to glue them together and then We'll do some shaping and whatnot. So when I get to that point, we'll go and I'll show you how I how I get it. You know, with a heat gun, you'll need a heat gun for sure to do this to get those curves. This is turning it backwards, but it's the side of the skull, and then this is part of. line up that that will turn into your eye so technically the way it would be is this way actually Bring it around and of course all this will taper in and it's kind of hard to visualize like this but we'll get there but I wanted to get this part of the video done before I got to the next part so people are not like Wait a minute. Seems like you're two steps ahead. So we got all the EVA foam cut out. I just got to start gluing stuff together and then shaping it. And when I get to that point of shaping, I will continue on with this video. Okay? So stay tuned. Hi guys and gals, Von Baden here. Um let me start first by saying that this is not a difficult build, but this is my first time doing EVA foam shaping for a mask. So I've run into issues where I've needed different size bowls to get roundness and whatnot. So this build has taken longer than what I normally would be dealing with so that could be my own fault being a novice with this um or i don't know maybe i missed something in the instructions but i've had some difficulties with this build but i wanted to get this part of the video done and then when i get to the next phase of it i'll do a video for that so what I am making is the Bone Daddy mask. And here in Michigan, it's snowing right now. And because of the contact cement has such a strong odor, you wanna definitely do this in a 
very well ventilated area so i've been doing it in the garage and because it's cold run into some issues with getting things to set right so i've got some cleanup work to do once this is all done but basically i have the two halves that will end up getting glued together and then of course I have the teeth and all that um so that's where that's at I will have to do some cleanup on the seams to get things nice closed off and smoothed out which won't be a, hopefully won't be a big issue but things that I would do differently when I do more masks like this I will make those changes but the person who originally posted it with the shaping he didn't he said you know something round I went with a round mixing bowl and apparently it wasn't round enough I ended up using a globe for a light fixture and that seemed to do better but that was after I had already assembled the first half and found out that it was gonna need more shaping which I ended up doing after it was glued which was a bit of a, a task so number one in this one I will try to at the very end go through and list like the size of the globe and all that um, I would strongly advise probably not doing this during the winter time so you're not freezing your butt off out in the garage um, other than that I like it I have some ideas to change it and modify it for later builds uh, but that is where we're at with that one so stay tuned for the next phase of it all right so this is your first time on my channel hit that subscribe button like share comment i will leave a link to the original poster that has the template for this and um, as i make changes in the future I will try to leave a template as well and add my changes so you can kind of mix and match things. So, all right, thanks, and I'll see you on the next video.